I was meeting some friends in Hebden Bridge on Sunday, so I booked assistance to travel by train. The 41-minute phone call included this little gem. What assistance do we require, please? I'm full-time wheelchair user. I need step three access and ramps at all points. No. At 11.51 at Lee, with assistance at station for boarding using the ramps. On arriving at 12.43 in Hebden Bridge, we'll need assistance at station for alighting and again using the, uh, the ramps at the destination station. And if that's all okay, Mr. Pauly, I'll book that in for him. So were you just about to book me assistance to a platform that has no step free access? I'll just put him on hold for one. I'll put you on hold for Yeah, sure. Seconds. They eventually arranged for me to get off at the nearest station with step free access, that being Milam Ride, which being unstaffed, the conductor would have to assist me with ramps. Of course, the disabled toilet didn't work on the train. <laughs> Despite me reminding the conductor when he came to punch my ticket, he forgot to get me off the train when we got to Mytham Road. Someone coming? Should be. Playing fast words. Unless they forgot. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you. It's somebody coming with a ram, hopefully. And, and I suspect you might have forgotten them. Need a ram? Thank you. No, you just get behind if I can. So much. Uh, he did eventually manage to get me off the train. Thank you. It was a real manky and freezing and wet day. That was the sound of the train leaving on the three minute journey to Hebden Bridge with all the non-disabled people travelling on it in the dry and the warm. Well, as usual, things have gone wrong. I've arrived. There's the sign. Where's the taxi? When I phoned to book, I told Northern that this would happen. Would it be okay then to book a taxi uh, at Miss Home Royd? to Hebden Bridge for around 10 to 1. I would prefer it to meet me when I arrive in Mittelroyd. Mm -hmm. It is very cold and exposed station and I'm meeting friends in HB. The train gets into Mittelroyd at 12.40 and also the taxis are invariably late. They don't know their way around. I have yet had one actually where... We are booking it for 12.40. Now I'm stuck. In the hail come sleet, come snow, come freezingness at Island Road Station and not a taxi in sight. I thought I'd just check if it was at the other platform. Uh, no, it isn't. So, you know. Let's try giving more than a ring. I struggle on the phone anyway due to hearing loss, but in the ensuing nine minute phone call, I really started to lose it a bit. Here's a flavour. Yeah, and there's no taxi turned up for you just yet. No, I'm really worried and I'm, I'm frozen and soaked in the, in the, in the, um, in the sleet. Yeah, okay, just bear with me one moment. I'm, okay. really, I'm really quite worried and I'm sad. <laughs> Yeah, just stay with me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, just... all right. Just stay with me one moment. I'm just having a look at you. Hi, sorry about that, best boy. Oh. Thank you. Just stay with me one moment. I'm just having a look at you. Uh, do you have um, any reference number? Should give him the name of the cab company that we're supposed to. No. No. Just stay with me one moment, thank you. Uh, can you see anything at the uh, moment? No. No. I've looked at both platforms. You've looked at both platforms and non there's nothing there. It's it is to at any point, so. Um, the taxi eventually turned up from Bradford, where he was based, 15 miles away, to drive me the one and a half miles from Mytham Road to Hebden Bridge. I had to travel with my head jammed against the ceiling, which was leaking, and I had to travel unrestrained. He hadn't fitted my seatbelt, nor had he restrained the other seats in the vehicle, as can be seen here, and, or indeed he hadn't properly restrained my own wheelchair, nor did he know where he was going.
I need to make a U-turn. It's uh, close from this side. I went for a bit of a magical mystery tour around Mythamroyd before I set off for Hebden Bridge. So I eventually arrived in Hebden Bridge, cold and very stressed. I had a lovely afternoon with my friends, but if I thought that things were going to be better on the way home, I was sadly mistaken. Northern had told me to meet their staff to provide the ramp at Hebden Bridge at the ticket office. And then later in the day, on the 21st, we will be going from Hebden Bridge at 17.33 and we'll meet them at the ticket office. But when I arrived at the ticket office, it was shut. I couldn't get in. Of course it was shut because it shuts at five o'clock on a Sunday, as their own information shows. They told me to meet at a ticket office, which their own information showed was shut. The same information says that there is staff help available until six o'clock on a Sunday, so surely I should be able to find staff who can assist me. Although it also confusingly says that there is no staff help available at any time. This is what I faced when I entered the station. The whole station was in complete darkness. None of the lights were working. There were no staff around. The waiting room wasn't open. Of course, the ticket office wasn't open. I couldn't see a help point. There was no way to get in touch with anybody, and I was wandering around on a pitch black station. I was getting really worried. I was thinking, what if there's nobody to put me on the train? What if the train never even stops? I know that some other train companies don't stop at a station if there's no working lighting. I was thinking, what if I'm stuck here in this freezing cold station in the peak blackness all night? So I rang Northern Assisted Travel again. I rang twice, totaling four and a half minutes of this. Nobody answered the phone. So much for their commitment to be open 24 hours a day and to ensure that they answer the phone within 30 seconds. So I tried tweeting them, but they didn't reply. They were replying to other people's tweets, just not mine. I was really stressed out and scared and uncomfortable and worried. When the train finally arrived, the conductor didn't open the doors to start off with. It turned out that he couldn't actually see in the darkness whether he was next to the platform or not. This was the view out of the window. But thankfully he did stop and he got the ramp out and he got me on the train. And the new audiovisual equipment was not working. Northern, I'm not proud of this, but this is what you reduced me to by the end of the night. Well, I made it back to Leeds. Um, I had no idea where I was most of the time because there were hardly any train announcements and when they did come through, they were um, too quiet for me to hear. I don't know if it's my hearing loss or what. But, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I can... I don't feel like I can do this anymore. I got so cold and wet going. I'm so stressed. By the... By the darkness and the... Not knowing what on earth was going on and the lack of staff. This fear of being abandoned in the middle of nowhere. It's just... I don't think, I don't think that, like, Capsi and Carillion and the people running Hampton Bridge Station, they realise that what, what might appear to be minor inconvenience of having to wait or not really knowing what's going on or not being able to see whether it's, I don't get... I don't think they realise the impact it has on such seemingly small things can have on disabled people and their confidence, you know. And it's just so stressful and frightening and painful and cold and unpleasant. I just don't feel like I can face it again.